So Motorola's Hello UI update based on Android 15 is here. In fact, the beta has been here for a while, but this is the final stable update. And the first thing that the team was like, let's find out which version of Android 15 is better for mid-range phones, Motorola's Hello UI or nothing's Nothing OS 3.0. But here's a fair disclaimer that I want to make before we started the video, is that Hello UI based on Android 15 is currently available across devices, but there are some AI features which are specifically available only on, you know, the flagship devices like the H50 Ultra, the Razer 50 Ultra and the Razer 50. We tried running that AI app on the H50 Pro and it didn't work. It won't work on the H50 Neo, Fusion, all of these phones either. At least for now, maybe things could change in the future. All right, so let's start the comparison. If you're here for the first time, I'm Ashad. You're watching Track and Take English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. Now, before I start with the comparison, if you want to know when your Motorola phone will get the Android 15 update, we've given you a handy link in the description. Go and click that. You'll find out the details. As for Nothing owners, most of the phones would have already gotten the Nothing OS 3.0 update or open betas are available for you to use as well. All right, now let's start off by talking about the differences in animations, which I know is what most of you guys care about. So I'll put it out there. Animations on Nothing OS 3.0 are better tuned than Hello UI based on Android 15. While Moto's animations are smoothed out, they look nice, it's still not as fluid as nothing OS 3.0 and you can see that for yourself in action where we opened and closed 16 apps back to back. On nothing OS 3.0 we also have a subtle folder animation which kind of looks pretty neat. Moto has the same old reveal animation that we've been seeing for years now. In fact we also get a new fingerprint plus charging animation on nothing OS which are inspired by the dot matrix design. On hello UI 15 we're still stuck with the same three fingerprint animation styles and the same charging animation that Motorola introduced with Android 13. By the way nothing OS 3.0 and Hello UI based on Android 15 actually have a lot of features ported over from Android 15 itself and predictive back gestures is one of them. This is actually one of the nicest features where you can actually see like a peak preview of when you swipe back to go to the previous screen. It is very nicely done. But yeah, overall, when you look at it, Nothing OS 3.0 has more visual changes as opposed to Hello UI based on Android 15. By the way, like Google added the predictive back gesture. It would be a nice gesture if you guys can go ahead and hit that subscribe button smooth. When you compare the lock screens on Hello UI with Android 15 compared to Android 14's Hello UI, there aren't too many changes. Now when compared to Nothing OS 3.0, you can actually change clock faces on both. But Nothing does come with more clock face options. You get six options as opposed to three on Motorola. However, with Hello UI, you can actually customize your clock face. You can have different styles. You can have different colors. All of this is not possible on Nothing OS 3.0. But where Nothing actually does better than any other operating system that I've tested is in the widgets that are available on the lock screen. The fact that you can actually have quick settings as a widget and you can actually switch off your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your mobile data, all of that directly from the lock screen is awesome. You can also add widgets on the lock screen on Hello UI, but they're very limited both in functionality and in numbers. So basically nothing OS is better. Also on Hello UI 15, you can only add either two pill shape widgets or four smaller widgets, or you can add one pill shape widget with two smaller widgets. On Nothing OS 3.0, you can expand the widget area and add any number of widgets you want to, as there are options for small widgets, pill shape widgets, and large widgets as well. But on Motorola, you can actually change the lock screen notification style, which you cannot on Nothing OS 3.0. Also, you see those two lock screen shortcuts at the bottom where you can keep any app as a lock screen shortcut on Hello UI, but you cannot on Nothing OS 3.0. There are some predefined set of tools that you can use, like for example, the camera or the flashlight, but not any app as such. Now, once you unlock the phone, enter the home screen, the first First thing that I absolutely love on Nothing OS 3.0 is the fact that you can add your own third party custom icon packs, which Hello UI doesn't give you the option for. But if you're somebody who likes like a varied set of grids, Hello UI does give you more grid options compared to Nothing OS 3.0. But just like the lock screen widgets, the home screen widgets are also superior on Nothing OS 3.0. You get nothing specific widgets like camera widget, quick setting widget and recorder widget, which lets you record calls. Talking about call recording, you can do that on your Motorola phone as well, but it will use Google's very own Google dialer and therefore it will alert the person on the other end so that's something you have to keep in mind. Now talking about widgets, the one thing I like on both the operating systems is that you don't have to drag and drop a widget. You just need to tap on the widget and it will give you the option to add them on the home screen on both the operating systems. With respect to font styles, you get six font styles. Motorola has added two new font styles. On Nothing OS you only get two font styles. But one thing I appreciate on Nothing OS 3.0 is the fact that it doesn't use too much of that, you know, dot matrix font because 
readability is definitely much better with the sans serif font but i'm sure that a lot of people don't agree with my opinion on this and a lot of people do want that dot matrix font now quick settings in the new hello ui are very similar to the old hello ui so basically you get a split screen quick settings and a notification panel with the classic option available as well however in quick settings you only get one new option basically now tapping on bluetooth will give you a pop up to connect to all the saved devices and you can enable or disable bluetooth from here as well quick settings on nothing os 3.0 on the other hand has improved by leaps and bounds it uses the normal stock android look alike notification and quick settings panel so swiping down once reveals a smaller more compact quick settings area so you get more space for incoming notifications and it looks good the second swipe reveals a redesigned layout with the control completely in your hands you can change the size of the quick settings styles you have three different options basically you get small circle a wide pill and a square box this is all pretty useful and very handy app drawer is also better on nothing os 3.0 compared to hello ui you can now pin apps to the top plus there is a new smart app drawer which is still in beta it creates folders based on your usage on hello ui 15 there is nothing new as such you still get the option to create folders in the app drawer but that's about it on nothing os 3.0 you also do get the updated gallery app we had to actually install it from the play store but once we installed it we could see all the new features that are available basically it's been redesigned which is nice but you also do get the option for a cutout which is very useful too hello ui doesn't have its own gallery or album app it actually uses the default photos app which you all are aware is pretty average one thing you we notice with hello ui is that you get the extra color contrast option in settings which helps it making the buttons and icons stand out more if you or somebody you know has impaired vision this will definitely be helpful hello ui 15 also lets you clone apps now but we noticed that only whatsapp was supported even facebook was not but if you want to actually have cloned apps you can do that within the secure folder but it will stay within the secure folder nothing os on the other hand has cloned apps by default so that's pretty awesome now both the operating system like i mentioned are very pixel like or stock android like when it comes to you know the kind of features that are available so android 15's features are available on both as well you can now archive unused apps where you can offload an app and the phone does not delete your app data and if you suddenly want to reinstall the app you can do that as well that shouldn't be a problem either on both the operating systems you also need to now enter your password or your fingerprint to authenticate every time you want to change the screen timeout or usb preferences from the notification panel there's also theft protection so if anyone snatches your device the device will use ai to find out that the phone got snatched and lock the screen instantly you also get the partial screen sharing feature which is nice and finally in the storage settings you get separate system section that shows the amount of space that android os and the temporary files have taken now if you ask me the new hello ui update based on android 15 on mid range devices at least feels like you know it's just an iterative update as opposed to nothing os 3.0 which has a lot of changes i still like hello ui like stuff like this is definitely moto actions moto gestures moto secure all of that is very very useful when you compare the improvements that's been made i think nothing os 3.0 does it better having said that i will still want to check out the flagship experience of hello ui because in that the ai features could be interesting as well now if you want us to do a separate video on that let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one until then keep tracking and stay safe